Hey guys. I'm Bob. I'm Barb, and together we make up Hedis World. It's KM RV Park Review Day. What are we reviewing, Bob? We're reviewing Diamond Caverns RV Park Thousand Trails. So stay tuned. We're Bob and Barb. We've lived by the rules all of our lives, but in 2020, we threw that rule book out the window. We sold our home and moved full time into an RV with our cat, Amelia. And from now on, we will be living life our way. Don't you want to come travel in our world? Okay, so this is the map of Diamond Caverns RV Park. And you're going to come down Route 255 here to come to the park. The park is on the left-hand side. The sign-in check-in is on the right-hand side. And they are super friendly and super nice. So when you're done checking in, you're going to go to the park now. So we'll talk about what all this is here. This is actually Diamond Caverns. There's a cave in there that you can go through and tour. So it's super neat. We're going to have a separate video on that. And this is the National Cave Museum and Library. And that was closed, I guess, because of COVID while we were there. Members and guests only. One of the best driveways into a thousand yep. trails we've seen so far. Yep. And then when you come into the park, you've got a little bit of a drive to come back to where you've got a two-sided road. One, one is one way in, one the other one is one side out. They have an 18-hole putt-putt golf course here. It is the nicest putt-putt golf that we have ever seen at a thousand trails or any RV park or campground that we've stayed at. As you can see here from the pictures, it's very elaborate, it's very painted, it's been very well cared for. And we actually played at this one because Bob's sister and her grandkids came down and we played through some games and everything worked perfectly. As we pass some of the amenities list of what all they have, a clubhouse, a Wi-Fi that has a restroom in it, there's also a church, trails, lawn, a large restroom that has showers, volleyball, bocce ball, RV storage, basketball, swimming pool, a playground, and a horse. And then the outside of the park here is all normal back-end spots, but these are all poultries, which are incredible. As we take you on the tour of the rest of the park, it is a very small park. It only has 68 RV spots. There are, of course, a lot of permanents here. It's kind of a two-tier, two-section park. We will take you up on the second section. It does come with an 18-hole official real golf course that's across the street where the caverns are. And they also have um, two-bedroom condos that you can rent instead of caverns, and the condos are actually very nice. There's a total of 743 acres altogether that they own here. I don't want to go up. Don't go up that road, <laughs> even if they pretend they haven't filled in. Sneak. I would say what I would call tent area over here. The question is would we stay at this park again and the answer is yes, a resounding yes. It is easy to get into. The pull-throughs are what's available for us as Thousand Trail members. It's easy in, easy out, and it's a very quiet and safe park. So yes, we would definitely stay here again. Stay tuned after we do our normal ending because I do have a special response from someone who would like to make a comment on the park. We hope that you like our videos. Please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when Hedis World has something new that is coming out. And remember to comment. We are Hedis World. Come travel in our world. Bye. What do you think about being at Diamond Caverns? Do you like it? Are you happy here? I mean, you like it, but there's not a lot of trees for you to see all the birds. But you've been busy looking at stuff, haven't you? A lot of, a lot of helicopters falling out of the maple trees. Yeah. She loves those. Did you give Daddy a wink?